friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is an intumescent cataract and in this case i am going to show small incision cataract surgery for education and now first thing is put a superior rectus brittle suture this is very important for beginners hold the superior rectus tendon nicely and pass a thick nylon suture autoclaved nylon suture beneath the superior rectus tendon once this is done pull the superior rectus tendon and stabilize the eyeball now you have got lot of room to work on to make the tunnel for conjunctival peritomy for Whitfield Cautery, a very good space you get. Conjunctival peritomy is being done for about 2 o'clock hours from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Just flush with the limbus. This is conjunctiva. So the peritomy is done for about Two or two and a half clock hours. This is a small radial cut for better exposure. And now the sclera is exposed and do very mild wet field cautery. In some cases, the sclera may not get exposed. There may be thick tenons tissue. You must remove that and expose the scleral surface and then do wet field cautery. So the cautery is done and now very important step incision. I do this with this instrument a 15 number Bart Baka blade and this is a mild frown incision. about 1.5 millimeter away from the limbus at the central part see that the group is of equal depth all around the bevel of this crescent plate is about 250 micron and this depth is okay and now see how the tunnel is done go into the clear cornea and sweep backward and to the left for making the tunnel from center to the left side and this is a little larger opening inside because of that maneuver and now sweep backward and to the right and you have got a very nice sclerocorneal tunnel with a very good corneal valve if the corneal valve is good like this you will never need a suture in this case I am going to do two side ports this will help me in hydro implantation of the intraocular lens and now an air bubble has been injected and the dye is injected underneath an air bubble the staining is very good in a short period of time if you stain the capsule underneath an air bubble underneath a big air bubble see this is real time and after five six seconds the capsule is so nicely stained if you don't stain under the aqueous you will have to wait for a longer time and even after waiting for a longer time the staining may not be so good and now capsulorexis in intumescent cataracts it is always good to use uterita forceps 
so I am opening the sclerocorneal tunnel this is 2.8 millimeter opening and now I am incising the capsule and making a C flap not a radial flap a C flap and now I am using the 2.8 millimeter opening to do this small rexis you can call it mini rexis you can use my name Mohantas mini rexis mommy rex and now aspirate some cortex and reduce the intralenticular pressure and now inject visco fill up the anterior chamber use a vana scissor before that I am enlarging the 2.8 millimeter incision for easy maneuver of the instruments using this vana scissor a cut has been done and now using the uterator again to enlarge the rexis in SICS we need a rexis of about 5.5 to 6 millimeter a small rexis will have a lot of problem in prolapsing the large nucleus here the capsule tends to round to periphery see the jerky pull one two three four by this jerky pull you can manage the rexis you can prevent it from going into the periphery and now is the time to open the sclerocorneal tunnel completely from one end to the other end this incision is about 7 millimeter we will see I'll show you that later and now see at this moment how to prolapse the nucleus one instrument has gone behind the other one has rotated the nucleus and it has come out of the capsular bag just, just a small push and the lens is in the anterior chamber lot of visco has been injected in front of the nuclear mass so that the corneal endothelium is protected nucleus delivery the vectis irrigating vectis goes behind the nucleus and slowly it draws the nuclear mass out of the eye so this is a very good technique for nucleus delivery only thing is your wound should be of adequate size if you want to remove the nucleus in total inject some visco and now remove the cortex this is a 23 gauze simco you can use a 22 gauze simco also better to avoid a 20 on gauze simco which is very large and now go through the right side port and remove the cortex from the superior aspect see how beautifully the cortex has been removed and this is the lens it is always a good idea to wash PMMA intraocular lens with ringer lactate both the surfaces and then this is hydro implantation this is a bit tricky for the beginners you can always use viscoelastic substance for implantation of the intraocular lens antechamber was shallow so I have injected an air bubble to buy some time this is moxifloxacin and now I am closing the side ports by hydrating corneal stroma 
on either side of these stab incisions. Hydrate on the scleral side of the stab incisions, side ports, not the corneal side. Inject fluid on the scleral side of these side ports. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. This is how you form the anterior chamber very nicely and come out. Don't go into the eye. This is 7 millimeter and see the size of the wound. It is 7 millimeter. And now oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus. I'm using a cotton tipped Janssen bard to draw the conjunctiva near the near limbus and then I'm going to apply a, a releasable suture at the right side where I had where I did a radial cut. Take bites and make three loops. One, two and three. Hold and pull. And now cut the thread with the longer thread with the needle and your releasable suture is done. Cut the thread with the needle short, keep the other thread long. If you just pull the long thread on slit lamp it will come out. Pose the conjunctiva nicely, remove the superior rectus brittle suture and conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.